Hi, this is Perry Franklin with a quick overview of using Extruder Aluminum in Creo's Advanced Framework Extension, or AFX. If you choose to use one of the Extruder Aluminum libraries, make sure to keep using the same one throw AFX since some parts are not compatible with profiles from other manufacturers. Profiles are treated the same way as the rest of AFX. During placement, you need to have a plane selected and a curve to extrude the profile. The main difference using this is that you can change the amount of detail in the model. By selecting simplified representations, you can choose simple, medium, or high detail. Jointing also works the same way when using extruded aluminum. The only difference is that some connectors require specific joints. For example, the Bosch corner brackets require the corner joint with gap. The connectors are a little different from the rest of AFX. Each library of parts has their own list of connectors. Most of them are straightforward. The numbers on the picture indicates the order of mouse clicks. You won't need to reassemble any of the connectors. Since you can't modify any of the connectors, they will all come from the same part. When using extruded aluminum, you will not need to place any screws, nor will you want to. Instead, most of the connectors have bolts in their model. 8020 is a little different. It has a separate bolt kit to place bolts with. The options listed within the bolt kit indicate the thickness of the bracket that the bolt is screwed to. Using extruded aluminum allows you to bypass some parts of AFX. Nonetheless, there are still many parts of AFX not covered in this tutorial that you should investigate. This is Perry Franklin from Learning Exchange. Check out more content from PTC University or learningexchange.ptc.com.